before talking about our work, I'd like to highlight the background where we started, which is actually the evolving field of HER2 low breast cancers. Because for decades, um, HER2 low expressing breast cancer have been neglecting any actionability with NTR2 agents because trastuzumab was not effective in these cancers and we did not, did not have any other effective agent. But lately, in, at ASCO 2018 and, 2018, and from that moment on, we've seen some very promising agents such, such as trastuzumab deruxacan and trastuzumab docamazine, which showed activity in her 2 low expressing breast cancers, which are about half of all breast cancer. So a very big population, a relevant population, where these agents showed interesting activity. And now some of them, such as trastuzumab deruxacan, are being tested in large phase three trials, such as in the Destiny 04 and Destiny 06 trials. So in the future, we could understand if these compounds are going to be more active than chemo in advanced her 2 expressing breast cancer. And if this happens, it's going to be really important to understand and characterize her 2 low breast cancer. And this is what we are doing in a um, in large work of characterization of her, of her, her too low expressions in breast cancer. And last year at ESMO Breast 2020, we have shown that there is an enrichment in advanced breast cancer for her too low expressions compared to early breast cancers. And this makes biologically sense because uh, we have preclinical data showing that pro tumor progression and also the activity of treatments such as chemotherapy, endocrine therapy, and targeted therapy can upregulate HER2. So this year we provided a different analysis from this work, which focused on uh, the novel metastatic breast cancers. And what we show is that R2 low expressions in the novo metastatic breast cancer is closer to early breast cancer and compared to relapsed breast cancer. And this also, again, makes sense because the novo metastatic breast cancer are not treated, are untreated. We're not treated with adjuvant treatment like relapsed breast cancer. So this could be a possible hypothesis for this observation, or it could be also tumor progression itself. However, what we show overall is that relapsed breast cancers have higher R2 low expressions. About 57% of relapsed breast cancer in our analysis showed lower two expressions compared to about 40 to 45% in the early setting or the novo metastatic breast cancer. What I would like to highlight, however, is that these analyses are performed with the standard assays for HER2, and in particular with immunohistochemistry, which is a semi-quantitative assay and may not be the best strategy to test HER2 for the future. For instance, in the DESTINY-06 trial of trastuzumab deruxacan in HER2 low breast cancer, even immunohistochemistry zero scored tumors can be, patients with these tumors can be enrolled in the trial if they show some minimal ultra low R2 expression. This means that in the future with more quantitative assays, we could be able to have a more granular view of R2 expressions and to change, probably revolutionize the way we interpret HER2. So with this, I'd like to thank you for the attention. And once again, thanks VJ for allowing me to give this interview. And I hope you enjoy ESMO Breast 21. And I hope to see you in person at ESMO Breast 22.